Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to focus on another great feature of the brand new Galaxy S10 Plus. This is called the Samsung DeX experience. This is a desktop-like experience that you're able to get out of your phone by just plugging it in to a monitor or a TV using a USB-C to HDMI adapter. And by far, this is one of the best desktop experiences on a mobile device to date. This is TK, let's check it out. Now the Samsung DeX experience isn't something new, but what we do have here essentially is the One UI version of Samsung DeX running on the Galaxy S10 Plus. And this will also be pushed out to let's say the S9, S9 Plus, and even the Note 9 whenever they receive the One UI update. For this, what I'm going to do is demo for you guys is using this adapter. Now there is an official one that just does USB-C to HDMI that you can plug in directly into the bottom port of your phone and that will connect to a TV or a monitor that's compatible with HDMI and you're basically going to see the experience pop up right in front of you. But this adapter enables me not only to do that, but it also gives me the belief of having three USB-A uh, connected ports so that I might be able to actually connect in, let's say, a full mouse if I don't want to connect it via Bluetooth or even connect a wireless keyboard if I want to be able to plug this into a TV and sit back on the couch. One cool thing about it is it does have its own power, but it also allows us to connect a USB-C power connector cable to be able to turn it on. And this adapter will work. The main thing about it, as far as just getting it to work, you plug this in directly into your phone, will be able to first thing you'll see is just mirroring once you connect the HDMI connector and then after that once you connect the power Samsung DeX is triggered and it turns on on the device and you'll be able to see it on your monitor. So let's not waste any time let's go ahead and hook up all of these things to our monitor right behind me and then let me show you guys how cool Samsung DeX is. So here we have the Samsung DeX experience. Uh, I went ahead and connected this using the adapter that I showed you guys with a wireless keyboard as well as a wired mouse. So my mouse is wired and my keyboard is wireless. Although it has a mouse on it, I'm not using that one. I'm using a wired mouse. And of course we can customize this entire experience down to let's say the wallpaper where the applications are setting, the shortcuts. Uh, you can pin applications to the local taskbar here. And I'm gonna walk you through all of this stuff. Uh, but first and foremost, we have the app drawer. This is basically all of the applications that you have in your phone uh, and you can scroll them if you have a scroll wheel on your mouse and it's very simple you can also search you have the recent application opens up in a page format and you can scroll between them those are all the apps that are currently open on my dex experience not on my phone just keep in mind they're a little bit different of course we have the home button which enables us to do the uh, basically minimize all and expand all this is a quick setup that i'll get to you guys in a second and of course the back button uh, these two little arrows here are just mostly because of all the applications i have running on here um, i do have basically a plex installed if you'd like to be able to use that there's cody if you'd like to be able to set it up in here it will launch uh, it does need to be set up of course uh, you're opening Twitter, you know, Google Play Music, all the applications on my phone are opening up here. My notification sh uh, shade here will be sitting here as far as basically just things that people from Twitter, uh, Hangouts, as well as basically, you know, little options as far as traffic from maps. Uh, we have the ability of seeing and turning on uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cellular data, of course, battery percentage, as well as the ability of going into quick settings, which are the short options that you get here, normally in the quick tabs that you pull down from your notification panel. Uh, other than that, we have uh, Samsung DeX Labs, and I'll explain to you what that is in a little bit. We're able to lock our device, and this locks the screen like a PC, and you need to use your phone to unlock it. So either using the fingerprint sensor, or a pin, or even face unlock if you have that set up. But for the most part, your fingerprint sensor will be more than enough. Uh, we have the ability of turning on the on-screen keyboard. As you guys can see right now, I turned it on. It does show up on the phone, so you're able to use it there, not only just as a touchpad, but also on the phone. Uh, and you can put it away, of course, muting the volume, uh, and if we can control the volume if we want to. I can go ahead and just say, this is just the ringtone right now. And of course, we have media set up and all of that. And we're also able to take a screenshot as well as do a finder, which works the same way as the way we have it here. So if I click the application drawer and just start saying Instagram, it'll start finding automatically. So this is basically very similar to that, except that if you wanna launch the finder. Now, as far as customizing our device here, we can go into the settings tab. You'll notice this is very similar to the way you have it on your normal phone, advanced features, all the different stuff. But the first option is Samsung DeX, and that's where we get this feature. You're only able to get into this when you're in Samsung DeX. Uh, the first option is the ability of setting the screen timeout that takes us up to all the way to 60 minutes because this is a desktop experience uh, wallpaper you can set up one of the four different defaults or go directly into the gallery application and pick a picture of yourself for yourself obviously as far as the screen resolution this is going to depend on us not only the display but also the adapter 
For me, I only have the ability of going all the way to 1080p full HD here because of the capture screen adapter option that I'm using on my PC. And that's how I'm able to share with you guys all of this. And unfortunately, mine is limited to 1080p and that's the reason why I can't go to 1440p. But you're able to go to 16 by 9 at 1440p, 16 by 10 up to 2560 by 1600, and of course, 21 by 9 aspect ratio to go to 3440 by 1400. So depending on your adapter and your display, you should be able to do this again. For me to be able to capture this, unfortunately, I cannot go any higher than 1080p at a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Uh, keyboard, very simple. We have an on-screen keyboard. It shows up on the phone. You can actually turn it on to show up on your monitor. So that was the one thing I just showed you guys. Or of course, we have to show a pop-up screen in Samsung DeX. That's just your own preference. Uh, mouse pad and tracking, same thing. You can speed up and slow it down, set up what the left button can do. And of course, the uh, flow pointer for on the screen. If you want to be able to turn those on, you're there, you're more than happy. Set the audio output. You can also set the option where the audio kind of actually goes out, either directly from the phone or through the display if you're able to route audio. And of course, Samsung DeX Labs. This is a very functional tool, and I'll show you guys what I mean. Turning this off obviously takes away that little uh, labs functionality here, but it also gives us the ability to say basically what happens when you don't have it. An example would be here. This is the Amazon shopping application. Right now, by default, it does not have the ability of going full screen. It does have the ability of going basically landscape, giving me an experience which is similar if I held my phone sideways. But this is not really that immersive, and it really doesn't look that good when you're using it on a DeX experience on a PC. Turning this feature on, and we'll go ahead and basically notice right there, first and foremost, the ability of expanding it to full screen came on, but you do need to close the application. So just keep in mind, if you open it up in standard view, you wanna to go to full screen, do that, and it'll open up full screen. And now we have a full screen experience using this application. And it, this really looks a lot better than using it in the standard form factor. If I wanna go back to standard, it does need to restart one more time and it'll take me back into that experience. But disabling Dex Labs will take away that feature. So that's the thing you wanna do. Go into Dex Lab, turn that on, and at least you'll be able to get full screen experience with any application that you're using on your phone. It forces it. That's one of the main things. And of course, auto open last application, that's more of a preference. Last but not least, we have about Dex, contact us, and of course, how to use Dex if you have any questions as to how to be able to use some of these functionalities. Uh, the app drawer is very nice, it's very simple. You scroll through it using your scroll mouse on your uh, on your keyboard if you have one, or if you have one on the mouse. And of course, uh, you're able to still get into the settings tab by going into the sorting option, cleaning pages, or using the Samsung Dex uh, settings, contacting TS, and how to use Dex. So you notice these last three options are similar to the settings tab. If you wanna move an icon from here directly to your lock screen, so you can just click this, you notice it turns it up to the top and I'm able to bring it in and I can add it there. Conversely, if I wanna be able to pin something to my app, to my, uh, app drawer here, so an example would be here. I have Chrome open, um, I have, uh, let's say here, Google Play Music, I have Instagram open, uh, and if let's say I wanna open up Kodi, and you notice right there, Kodi's already in my list. If I wanna keep it here, I can right click and say, unpin shortcut from taskbar, and if I didn't have it there, it would allow me to be able to pin it, like say here with the, with the application, so pin shortcut the taskbar. You can customize Kodi, and of course, you can run it in full screen, and as well as install Plex, uh, and you can also play Netflix in full, full screen, all of the stuff that you normally expect, it will work great. But what I wanted to show you guys was basically just the multifunctionality options that we have. We can have our normal uh, Twitter feed running here, updating all the different application, and it will run it live. We can play music sitting on the right side. You'll notice the player resizes itself. And of course, if you want to still be able to use Instagram and add more stuff, you can. Or if you want to be able to just go full productive uh, you know, mode and just go into Microsoft Word, you can go in here, double click on it and start typing. and. You know, you could basically just use it. And I was just doing a demo real quick before we started this video, you know. You know, just very simple and uh, try to type correctly whenever you're on video. All the good stuff. And, you know, for the most part, I think uh, the main thing that a lot of people will wonder is, can I play Netflix in full screen? So let's go ahead and do that. So again, you start typing and it brings up Netflix. You can go ahead and open it. You notice right there, we do have that little icon. So I need to go full screen and it will restart the app. And at this point, now I'm using full screen Netflix on Dex. I can go in there and I can select whatever movie I wanna be able to watch. And I can start watching whatever movie I'd like to be able to put in there. So let's go ahead and go and let's say this is The Incredibles 2. It takes me in here and let's go ahead and hit play. We're not gonna watch the movie, but I wanna make sure to get us uh, basically. Copyright content, unable to capture content. Okay, so this is actually uh, more of a mistake on my side because that's my capture uh, device and it's not going to allow me to play the video because it's recognizing content uh, copyright protection. But if you're projecting it to a TV, it should not be an issue because I'm not trying to record it. So 
It does work, I've tested it, uh, and unfortunately I don't have the ability of showing this to you, but you do have the ability of seeing at least that it goes full screen. Now a lot of us were probably wondering is, can I play full games, let's say Fortnite or PUBG, on this screen? Uh, the answer is actually, it depends on the application. So Fortnite, for most part, you go in there, and if you try to run it, it's going to tell you it does not run in Samton Dex. So that's one thing, because it's designed for a mobile experience. But if you go over to PUBG, which is weird enough, uh, PUBG does actually allow us to play and it launches it in a normal state. So if you want to go full screen, just expand it. Now, as you can see right here, the screen is loading. Uh, it's going to take us in there. The controls are a little bit different than what you normally get. So right there, I'll just go ahead and say play now and exit out one more time. We're able to go into the settings and still set the different options. Let's go into the control uh, graphics. I'm able to go to HDR and ultra, colorful, all of the stuff that you normally get. But you can definitely see the quality of the image is not as good. It's really intended to be on your phone and we're stretching that image to work. It does work and it does work with the keyboard. Gameplay is a little bit hard. I would recommend you using a controller. And if you have a controller set up, just use the Bluetooth controller and you'll have a much better experience. I think overall, uh, having the ability of playing this game is gonna be very nice. And I'll show you guys real quick a little bit of a sample I was using it. But for the most part, the experience was very choppy. Uh, the keyboard control in combination with the mouse, uh, with, the, with the mouse weren't really working that well. And I have to actually click on the fire button. There is no shortcut on the keyboard that I'm able to assign to say, go ahead and use this one as the fire button. So not a true keyboard and mouse experience on your PC or on DeX. Uh, but other than that, I think it's a really good functioning system, very easy. Everything that you normally get from your phone works here and it works beautifully. And we have a few options that we're also able to switch over on the phone. So we don't actually necessarily have to use this always on DeX. We can switch it over to be just a screen mirroring option on our phone and use our mouse to control it. And this is pretty much the same experience you'd normally have on your phone. You can go in there, open up applications. And of course, if you set your phone to a landscape experience, for the most part, when if you're gonna use this, uh, I would recommend you just basically turning off gestures so you can have your navigation buttons in there. But for the most part, it works the same way. Uh, you're able to open it up. You can go into your Chrome application, just open it and it'll open up YouTube if you wanna use it in this format um, and just play different things. Uh, it's very nice, it's very simple and it's very customizable. And I really think Dex overall is one of the best experiences that we can get on a mobile device for a desktop-like experience. As you saw, the experience is definitely very nice and very simple. Connect a wireless keyboard and mouse to this via Bluetooth. You don't even need necessarily to use the adapter that I'm showing you there. And for that, I'll give you guys a link in the description to do different options. One that has an adapter with a hub and the other option just basically a straight USB-C to HDMI cable. The experience itself is very similar and you're able to use the actual screen as a touchpad to be able to control your display. So you don't even necessarily have to have an external adapter. You could actually use the phone. Uh, a full-size keyboard will pop up on your display as well as basically the entire display becomes a touchpad. Um, between this and EMUI 9.0 desktop experience, I would have to say DeX is definitely a little bit better and it has been around a little bit longer than that. And we no longer need to use the full dock, specifically with the One UI update, to actually be able to experience it. You just need that USB-C to HDMI. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of the brand new DeX on One UI, specifically on the Galaxy S10? And this should be very similar again on the S10 and the S10e, as well as the S10 Plus as I showed this to you guys. It's built in, it's nice, it's powerful. The Snapdragon 855 with eight ticks of RAM is more than enough to be able to power this entire thing. And like I said, you can actually use this adapter to block additional options in there, let's say a wired mouse or so on. So you can definitely have at it and enjoy the entire experience. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.